Hi, I'm Ben, and today we're going to be going over how to fix a Halong battery. These are for e-bikes. They're uh, 14 amp hour, 48 volt batteries, and they're supposed to look like this. But clearly this one has a problem because it looks like this. Obviously those are sticking out, so we don't want that. This is literally the charger that is holding on by two wires here, and it should be locked in. All you're going to need is a Phillips screwdriver, or check, you know, the holes and see what yours are. But we're gonna put away the one that is actually good, and we're going to just use this broken one that I broke today. So first step is you're just gonna unscrew all of the screws. There are, in this case, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and they're just on the bottom. There aren't any on the top because that would defeat the waterproofing of this whole cover idea. Unfortunately, this screw over here is stripped, so, just at the very end. This one's having a bit of a hard time, but if you go nice and slow and you just jam a lot of force downwards, most of the time you're fine. This one right here is just so corroded over the use period of the last three or four years that I'm gonna need to go get some WD-40. Okay, sometimes things don't go as planned and I had to use a little bit of WD-40, but in the end, I did dry out the hole a little bit with a little bit of tissue, but then it came right out as planned. Now on to the rest. So after you've done that, you can remove this and you will see the inner workings, which are a bunch of the cells. So there's a lot, even some dust. Don't know how that happened. What we want to look at is what we're repairing today though. So we're gonna go over here and slide it in the slot just like that. Sometimes a little bit hard to get in, but remove some of the grit and you're good to go then it should go on just like this. That's as simple as this fix should be if the screws are not corroded. So again, from a different angle, you're just gonna find that little slot and slide in there. Now, when you go like this, it should just work. But over on the other side, if you have a problem where the whole thing came out, this goes like this. So you're gonna have to put in the top first, and then you're gonna have to slide it in Maybe some brute force. Nope, I'm failing here. So if you're having difficulty, no problem. Once I get it, you'll figure out how to get it in without any problems. Okay, somehow I did that. Do what I did. Once you do that, just like the other side, you're gonna slide it in. The hardest part when you have both of the sides having problems is getting both sides lined up at the same time. Okay, that's that. And now I get to screw up everything in a good way. All right, there we go. You have a battery that's fixed and it's now water resistant yet again. So I would have not been biking around if these are loose and water can get in. That is so not good. You don't want that to happen. So you wanna make sure you seal these up. This has gone through quite a lot, but when I dropped it this time, there was a little bit more breakage and a little bit came off. So I might actually add a little bit of tape there just to increase the water resistance ability of this case, which has now lasted about four or so years. And I only have a second one has a backup and for extended range, which is really helpful. I hope that this helps you. And uh, if it did, please smash the like button. It helps the YouTube algorithm show other people who are looking for exactly this very niche fix on a Halong battery. So, hope you enjoyed. Bye.